my name is Chris Anthony. Most people just call me the straw hat farmer. I'm with Grow Dinner Aquaponics or Grow Dinner. The thing is we do a lot more than just aquaponics here at our small urban farm. And these are some Delaware chickens, a multi-purpose bird. Now I want to start out with showing you two different tractors. One's a little bit more elaborate than the other, but both of them are really simple. Only takes a few hours to build and they're very sturdy. This is our little chicken house that goes inside of our chicken tractor for our baby chicks or our baby dibs when they're very small because cool nights really bother them. They have a tendency to get sick and we don't feed our chickens any antibiotics or anything like commercial raised chicken so we need to make sure our chickens stay warm at night. This is an easy design. You can put this on a timer and it will work really well for you. Basically what we've done is we've taken a tote we put a few shavings down the bottom so it can be washed every week. We've cut a small hole in here, kind of like a little doggy door, and our baby chicks will go in and out of this to the heat. And then I've got a 40 watt light bulb that hangs in here, and I've sliced a hole if you notice. What I've done is I've cut a hole in here, and then you just take the light apart and stick it back in and screw it back together and then it can't fall down and, and hit the baby chicks or get into the shavings. And that 40 watt light will actually keep these baby chicks nice and warm when they're little. And then as they progress forward, you can just take this back out of your tractor. Okay, this is our access door. We have one on each end of the coop to help make it a little easier to get in and out of. But we actually don't use this door very often, only when we get ready to harvest our chickens this fall. But I do want to show you how this is constructed because it's a huge part of making the PVC pipe tractor a lot sturdier. If you'll notice the actual door frame has a ridge here on top. And what this ridge does is it sturdies up this PVC pipe and I'll get you a little closer view here in a second of the top of how I attached it. But we actually have the two before sitting right on top of the ridge and that makes for a much sturdier tractor. Then I have two small latches. I just latch those back. There's two one befores of the door with some chicken wire and a couple of hinges. Okay, basically what we started out with was a two before frame. If you have a lot of critters that like to kill chickens around your place, you may want to go with two by sixes or two by eights because the two befores are not quite as heavy and it makes it a little easier for them to get up underneath here and crawl under and get to your chickens. In my case, I have a dog and I don't have a lot of chicken killing critters left around my place. I use two befores, but if you notice in the corners, I actually did a a two before cut on a 45 to really sturdy up my corners that's going to help tremendously now what i use for my frame of course is three quarter inch pvc pipe but if you notice this pvc pipe is real sturdy and the reason is because of that ridge on top that makes a huge difference now what i did here is i put electric conduit three quarter inch conduit straps instead of drilling holes because when you drill holes a lot of times the um, contraction expansion of PVC pipe during cooler and warmer climates will actually have a tendency to crack your PVC pipe. So I used electric uh, conduit straps and I just strapped it down. It makes it very, very sturdy. Now for my wire, I actually use regular chicken wire, but on the sides here I used a one before. And not only the one before squeezes my wire good and tight, but it also helps hold my canvas wagon cover over the back of it that gives my chicken some shade. Now the wire, as you come up on the curve here, an easy way to do this is just cut it with your snips and then overlap kind of an envelope style here and then bend your wire to hold it together here. And you can do that in a couple of places and that way you can make this curve with no problems. This is 10 foot, three quarter inch PVC. So five foot wire would have been two pieces, five foot stretch from this side direction and five foot stretch from the opposite direction. They would have made the middle and you could have left it up off the edge here about an inch on each side and that would have given you a two inch overlap in the middle. These are our nipples here that the chickens actually drink from. As they click on this, they can actually get their water. And we're attached to a five gallon bucket. 
This makes it really convenient. I'll show you on the other side here how we water this. We never even have to open the door to fill this bucket. But since we stay with this particular tractor from the time we have baby chicks all the way until our chickens are grown, we actually put a hook up here. And we start out really low so our baby chicks can reach the actual water nipples. And then as the chickens, and we have a piece of flex hose here and our PVC pipe with our nipples in it. A piece of wire holds it a little steadier. And then we have a chain on it with our hook. So as our chickens grow, we can actually bring it up to accommodate the size of the chickens. Now there's a lot of chickens in here. There's about 25. We're ready to move half of them to another chicken tractor. So probably be doing that within about a week. Now on the opposite side is our food bucket and our food bucket will also hold five gallons and it's basically PVC pipe that feeds out to the bottom and this is a little tray that keeps them from wasting so much food and if you're curious what this is this is actually a tray that goes in your kitchen utensil drawer that holds knives forks or what have you and it's just screwed to the two before here and they will actually eat the extra food. Now when the baby chicks are in here they can't actually reach this very well so I still use the small little quart jar feeders for the babies because they require a little bit more attention anyway and then as they get bigger I go to the five gallon bucket feeder and they have no problem getting that out of there and it only has to be filled occasionally but this is a simple watering system and a simple food system we have the exact same door on this side with the same ridge going across and that's what's sturdying all this up so that the two before across the middle is actually held by the door frame in this exact same door and our baby chick tote goes right through here so that we can access that easily when they're baby chicks. If you notice this PVC pipe here, a little tractor, is pretty sturdy. And the reason for that, as I said before, is because of having this ridge on the top. Then what we've done is we've took a three-quarter inch conduit strap and strapped this down to make this a lot sturdier than just PVC pipe attached to the wire. Now let's uh, go around and show you here. This is our canvas top. This is just a canvas tarp that we've actually purchased and uh, cut up to go over this. And our one before is, of course, at the bottom attached right on top of our wire. This will last a few years and then we'll just replace it as needed. It'll give the chickens a place in the shade, plus give them a place in the dry when it's raining. And there again, this is a summer only tractor because these are meat chickens, so they'll be ready to harvest by fall. Okay, when we get ready to water our chickens, if you remember the five gallon water inside, we actually have a bulkhead fitting and a piece of PVC pipe ran out here and turned up and it's very quick and easy. I move the tractor, I drag a hose, I fill this up. We hold five gallons of water at a time. So that makes it really convenient. And then the food lasts a few days according to how many chickens you have. And to access that, we have the exact same scenario on this side as we did the other side. We have a door that opens right up with a couple of latches. We actually use lawnmower wheels. We've actually extended past the coop a little bit to add our wheels. Now something that would have been much, much better for our wheels than what I did here would have been if you'd have had an old push mower. Now I'll be looking for me one and I'll convert it as soon as I find one. If you'll find an old push mower, you can actually take off the adjustable wheel bracket and stick it here and then you'll be able to just move the handle and raise the wheel right uh, raise the coop right up and push the wheel to the ground. I just didn't have time to run out and look for a, a old mower deck. So this sums it up for this chicken tractor. Now let's go and take a look at the smaller one. Okay, this chicken tractor here is really similar to the one out back. It's just smaller, a little more compact. And the reason we want some smaller ones too is they're a little easier to move around in the yard, to maneuver into smaller places, to turn, to be able to back them in closer around your house, decks, and different things. So I like having a couple of small ones and a couple of the large ones. Now this particular one here has some turkeys in it. Let's take you in for a little view of what's going on inside.
Okay, each side of our each side of our small tractor is the same as the large one. It has a two before frame here that actually holds a ridge line down the middle. It's just shorter. And if you see the little creatures walking around in there, those are our turkey. Now it's a smaller tractor. We don't have the food system and water system in here. You could easily add those same exact feeders and waters to this system without any problem and be able to have a smaller one to still move it. The wheels are the same. Everything is pretty much constructed the same. It's just a small, lightweight tractor to move into tighter spaces for us around here in our yard. These are actually in our yard. They're not out in, in pastures or fields. We're actually using these to mow our grass right here in our, in our lawn. So they're easy to build. They're quick and easy and they can can really help with mowing the grass and actually raise some good organic birds too. So there they go. They're all going to get up on the middle perch and that middle board actually keeps the PVC pipe from pushing out on the frame over time because that PVC pipe is under some tension and kind of acts like a spring. So this helps. And if you notice this one here still has the white tarp everything half shaded so that they can get some water when it rains, get a good bath, and they can also get in here in the shade. Now with our turkeys, we actually used a little what we call the turkey house. We also use the house and the light bulb with it when the turkeys are really small, and that way they don't get sick either and cuts back on having the losses because there again we don't use all the the antibiotic food. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of animals are actually in the commercial industry are actually fed antibiotic feed from the time they're born just to prevent them from getting sick. So they're actually eating antibiotic food whether they're sick or not from day one. So that's the good thing about raising these organic birds is you can keep them off all this medication. I want to thank you for joining me out here in my yard with my chicken tractors, my Delaware chickens, and my turkeys. So keep in touch with us, join our emailing list, and also check our website. We've got lots of helpful videos there, and we're actually wanting to help you become a more self-sustainable lifestyle. Thank you again. My name is Chris Anthony. Most people just call me the straw hat farmer, and I'll see you next time. Take care.